Anyway, we keep we that keep going. Good. Let's go. We're back. And I would like Dad to explain to me the bullshit. Okay. Let's talk about it finally. No, so get rid of the crap that you don't want anymore. Same old, same old. Yep. That part hasn't changed yet. Okay. By the way, you guys may have seen off screen. May, well, you didn't see it off screen. I sold all my blue and white crap. Because. Oh, hang on. So, any of the ones that are actually lit up are ones that you can modify. I want to make sure that I'm. You might want to get rid of all the crap down there. I want to make sure that I'm not getting rid of stuff that I want. You might like stone in that one. What? Oh shit! Yeah, there's a there's, or there's a, a stone in the other one. There's the a, other end of that rock. There's a rock. There's two of them. No! Take out my crap. Nope. Beautifully cut. Give my crap back. Give me my stuff. Ah, okay. oh, that's better. Right. Now okay. we can go break the shit. Time to break things. My skill is unmatched. Oh. Um. Do it. Yep. Now, next section. Get over one. You don't need to fix. Okay. Last section. Pick an item. Uh. You have none. You can pick. Why? Can't do legacy. Yep. So what is it? Okay. So when I find something to do. So normal pieces. Okay. You can affix a. Prefix to take it. Um, it's basically another uh, uh, how I put it? Um, another effect for the weapon or item. Okay. That you can add to it. Um, go into it. Hang on, wait. That was gonna say just hover over one of your pieces. It doesn't matter which. Ooh, I have some. So my stick. Like this one has crowd controlled enemies, twelve percent. Okay. So for you it'll be something different, but for me it would allow me to have like uh, sh extra shadow damage or uh, extra duration on my clone or um, even just a um, uh, possibly a buff to uh, say against piercing damage or. Uh, Resistance to poison or whatever. Okay. Um, so instead of you being able to upgrade your item so many times, like where you have the uh, little pieces that say you've upgraded it twice or three times or whatever, um, you no longer get those. Instead, you get what are called prefixes to it. Okay. This had <laughs> certain. And technically, it may just be that you don't have the right piece to fit the actual one that you have. That could be a possibility, too. We love that. Um, and yes, I've been playing around with this for a little while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, am you did I, say I needed to bring up the rogue in order to... Am I an int base class, or am I... Um, am I supposed to be... what? What's my primary stat? You don't really have a primary stat. It's both of these. So I'm gonna grab willpower if I can. Constitution and willpower? Intelligence and willpower. Mm. For some reason. Mm. I guess it's your transformation. No, that's... It's powers. So, if we read this, this is my armor. This is resource regeneration and resistance. This is skill damage, healing, and overpower. I don't even know what that is. You'll find out there. I don't know what overpower damage is. Uh, critical strike chance and dodge. It's for specific skills. That's why. So, that's why I am going to plop this in here. I'm going to plop this in here. Because they did change that a little bit. Like, the skull is still, like, thorns, it seems. 
but like they changed it to stats instead no, of like types get, of defense. One thing that seems to be overpowered now is if you can get the um, health on hit. Yes, that is. That is the new version of I am Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is our new. Uh, <clears throat> That is a standby piece, because that means that you no longer will need health potions. Well, it's <laughs> from Diablo 3. That mm-hmm. is something everyone was like, why doesn't it have that? And it's only a rogue power, it seems, unless you can get items that have it. Mm-hmm. You have it by default, because it comes with your skills. It also comes with certain prefixes that you can get. So, like I was talking about, the, the prefixes that you can add to your armor and stuff, one of them is actually health on hit. Okay. So if you can get that one, you will no longer need uh, health potions. If you can get it above so many points. I think you only need like 10 or 11 points per hit to be able to actually keep yourself so that you don't need health potions anymore. (laughs) Maybe. For me, though. Oh, and that's each place. I know. I know. I have four places. Well, so, if we look at the whole map, you have a size of there's Kyovashad in the Fractured Peaks. There is Garagar in Skosglen. That was a hard stutter. There's the Dry Steps with Ked Bardu. There's Kedjistan. Why does it look like the one... Uh, and the there's Hawzar. Why does it look like that one Fortress of That's a legion. That's the thing in the corner that's yelling oh. at me. Oh, it's an event. I don't even know what that is, and I do not care. I'm not going to even bother. Um, that's a lot of work. Yeah, maybe. Well, you do have two of um... Yeah, there's two more zones down here. I just haven't gone to them yet. Hmm. So, I mean, hopefully this game forces me to explore the whole map, but if it doesn't, then oh, fucking Ooh. well, I guess. I didn't have to do something. Woo! <laughs> uh, what do you know about Elias? I saw him at the royal court. He walked in unannounced. As one does, you know. Demanded the city to be given to him. As he one does. Sent me to the presence of court. They laughed about the strange man all night. That was the last time they laughed. I mean, there were people laughing in the prison. Mm. They were having a gay old time in there. Royal blood ruled Guran for generations. Decadent and cruel, but they were saints compared to Bro. Well, hmm, that's rude. So why didn't you escape? <laughs> it's better in there than the other place. You know, you were like in the corner with a key. I was waiting for Zolaya at my home. And I realized she wasn't coming. I tried oh, to your run. girlfriend didn't show up to but save you. Just <laughs> Oof. Mm. So you ready? Yes. Where is she? Dead. I'm not telling you. Come with me! Yes, follow me so I can show you she's dead. So I can show you her corpse. Yeah, we can play the corpse right. Going to get some stuff on my way and break things. Get some more shoes. Keep. Really? I'm gonna get the slow way the hell down. Huh? Well, that's because you know, like there, I look so tired when I walk like that. Like, look, look at the wolf. It looks so tired. She got the big funny feet. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Zolaya. Oh, look, a cutscene. Oh, Yun. Oh, you've come back to me. You waited. Kept yourself in danger. Oh, you stubborn cow. Of course I waited. Where would I go without you to tell me? Literally anywhere. Anywhere. Away from here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, you are a lucky fool. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Ah, thank you, this old man. Sent this one to find you. They need your help getting into the palace. 
There's an old escape tunnel. The entrance is in the caverns nearby. Behind an alcove marked with the overseer's cross. Twin sabers joined at the hilt. Press the left pommel to open the way. Caverns. Hmm. Could be worse. Wanderer. Thank you. Take care of yourself. I won't. I have a chronic using no health potions problem. Yeah. Almost as bad as the mage. Why do I feel like that was Lorath's horse and he just I gave think it away? That was the merchant's horse. That's not telling. <laughs> Remember at the very beginning? Oh, it's come full circle. The journey of the horse is over. You finally can go home. No, it's getting stolen by a thief. <laughs> it was gifted to a thief. And her girlfriend. <laughs> you know, when we first met, I assumed this connection you have with Lilith would lead you to darkness, as it has Elias. But after the good you've done here, maybe I was wrong. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, old man. So... Awful pits. No, oh, it's the awful pits. <laughs> We're going to mess in the... Uh, the blood, the pits. blood and gore in the pit. That's what awful is. Mm. We need to go to the armpit of the world. <laughs> mm, if your armpit was full of organs and, you know, viscera. Mm. Well, take me to this to some degree. Mm, not showing it. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> or ever again. <laughs> yeah, that won't last long. Mm, no, it won't. <laughs> At 2 a.m. again. Dad, feed me. <laughs> it's okay, this one will pop open the MMs. <laughs> Out of curiosity, though, with that piece that we were talking about, should I have asked you to read it over first to fact check me before Gandalf slaughters it? Probably. Okay, okay, correction. He didn't slaughter it, he made some minor changes, but they kind of don't work for me. They, they kind of needed to do Cutting some words part. and adding some other ones doesn't... They kind of need a different touch than Gandalf's. And, and it would have saved us both time. Because Gandalf's going to do some things that are definitely not going to make sense. No, more like he's going to get turn it from a meaty, meaty flesh thing into a skeleton. Yeah. He left it bare bones, which is why I told him I will do a little reworking, but the events are staying the same. Which is why he's going to press on. Yeah. Like I said, I would rather I read it over. And then we could have worked this out easier. Yeah. I mean, as I've said, I usually do, but sometimes I just want to get it out. And that's usually we end up going, hey, I wish my dad's dead. Uh huh. <laughs> or somebody to read it over besides me. Or Gandalf. Because as as Ellen has said, I honestly do want to present my best work, and I also don't want to fucking hear it. Um, <laughs> I like to put my best foot forward rather than show people trash. Rather than show your ass. No. <laughs> I won't. Di nope, not hungry again. <laughs> I'm snacking just to snack, by the way, because there's Cheetos nearby. Please take those away from me. It looks like this. It smells like this. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up, actually. I'm overeating myself. I'm just gonna myself. do it. <laughs> I, my stomach says throw up. I don't know why. Your eyeballs say, well, hell no, I'm going to More Cheeto! I want to become the Cheeto. However, we're not going to let it Do you happen. think it's a good sign that my body keeps telling me no? Because it didn't tell me no before. Right, it's because it didn't know what it needed or how much. And now it's, it's going, oh, your sugar's back to normal. So You're going to start to feel sick when you eat things that are not good for you. Well, not just that. Like, you're going to eat it, and then you're going to want to hurl. That's why not. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> 
I know the this is... You've been He's got less to do with what you've been eating and what you know this. Ellen's wondering if I want to meet on Thursday. Uh, you can. Uh, how long ago did we start this episode? Oh. It hasn't been that long, I promise you. This time we're not going to call it early just because we think it's been too long. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. It's probably been like 10 minutes. Dead sense of time really sucks. So does mine. This is why I have a timer that I've put next to me that I didn't turn on at the start of the episode. Again. Even though I should have. You know, like, I, I could have done that. I usually do. And I'm usually better than this. But no! Ding, Dingus didn't decide to do that. Not this time, Satan. This time, however. Fucking. Whee! What's this again? Oh, um, right. Yeah, that. It's you saw that the, before. Yeah. So we get very familiar with this image of, you know, like a bunch of a bunch of cannibal corpses. A bunch of people that the cannibals are eating. You know, we got some cannibal lecturism going on here, and uh, now we're going to leave because that's enough uh, YouTube guideline violations right there. Good thing is we're not doing this for people. Don't ban me! <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. You're not banning me, so. Hmm. If you want to take monetization off when I do, that's fine. <laughs> I accept. Temporarily, because we would like to make a little money eventually. One episode of 20 is not going to kill us. So Dad's run off to pee, so it's just me and you guys. I still don't know what to talk about. I'm going to wander aimlessly. Wait, wait. Where does it want me to go? Yeah, it wants me to go back this way. That's weird. Give me the box. No green yet. While you were in the city, I was thinking on Elias's plans. Which of the lesser evils he means to summon? What he did oh, to Oh, it's Duran Lord of Gluttony's. He has drowned it in blood. Meaning his goal is likely Duriel or Andariel. What's the difference? Duriel feeds off physical pain, Andariel revels in mental and emotional torment. Whichever one it is, if Elias succeeds, many more cities will share Duran's fate. Oh, oh yeah, because completed the summoning yet. BL's above Lord of Gluttony would be way too high on the totem pole. And also, I feel like we already did that. Hmm. Yeah, let's hope he hasn't. Oh, that does not look like a good sign. That loading screen was not a good oh, sign. We has a dungeon. Oh. I should be right back. <laughs> oh, okay. I will pause the episode then. Oh, you're okay. Pausing episode! Alright, and we unpause. I did move the microphone to be a little bit closer to us. Mm. Just a little bit. So, yeah, all you missed, Dad, while you were in the potty mm. was, um,. I need to... I need to continue looking for Elias with Lorath. Pretty much. I'm looking for an old escape tunnel down this pathway. I need to, to do that. There's a bag with a potion in it that I don't need. I'm killing bloody sheep. Um, also, I don't know my Bible well enough to know these names, but Lorath is trying to wonder from that that child that the body that got ripped out of that demon. What uh, lesser evil Elias may be trying to summon? 
and thanks to the cannibal city, he thinks it's either someone named Andariel or someone named Duriel. One likes physical pain, and the other likes mental and emotional torment. I was thinking straight up gluttony, but then again, Beelzebub is a major evil. And also, I think we've faced similar things from, like, Magda and Belial, the Lord of Lies. But again, that was D3 and not D4. This is a slightly different beast. Oh, it's so wasteful to be leaving all these potions all over the floor. I feel like a wizard would flourish in a party with, with me or with your rogue, you know? Because we leave potions fucking everywhere. Especially the rogue. Also, we can tank the hits, and the wizard can sit there and do what they need to do. We do all the damage possible. We have tank. We have damage healer. Okay. I, I don't know, Lorath. Is that it? Because I want to go this way. You know, literally any way besides the way you're going. Because I want to explore a tape. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've um since we started this episode with tempering, let's let's round it out with some not that I can right now with anything. But you've wanted to talk about that for a while in terms of like talking about it on your let's play. Mm. Why don't we use some talking here? What's your issue with it? Cause I've read forums. And their problem is why does basic upgrading have to be reserved for like end game? Because that's what master working is. Master working is the old system, but it only activates at level hundred. Well, because the new system actually does more versus the old system, which just basically upgrades your uh, how much it does or the armor itself. The numbers or, go up a little bit. Yeah, and it's only a little. Yeah, there's nothing major. It's like what ten, twenty points. Something like that. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is nothing. Mm hmm. But speaking of nothing, let's hear about whispers from the past. It was just as Oyun described. Y yeah, I, d I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Cool! We're just gonna go through this. Okay, cool. So yeah, the tempering system everyone finds is bullshit because it's... We shouldn't have to be able to do basic upgrading once we hit level 100. I don't know if it does more than before. Yeah. Like, because endgame it might actually do, like, a decent amount. Mm -hmm. But the, um... I need time to do new that. pieces actually do a lot more for you. Like, you can get... Uh, I think the high end is, like, um, 80 or 90% higher on... Uh, shadow damage, or lightning damage, or fire damage. Uh huh. Versus the 10 or 20 points that you're getting through the other way. Can I have a second to eavesdrop? Why do we stay here? Need more prey, more meat. And you will have it once Elias has finished his grand work. What work? You will Jeez. see soon, bro. The seeds we have sown will bear fruit. Good one will be reborn, and so will... Dead. Dead. But work. Elias. He is poised to summon Andariel into the world. Her, her power will lift us to new heights. And of course, you, you will have more meat. <sighs> I want to watch. Certainly, Great Brawl. You will be the guest of honor. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. 
So yeah, in terms of... So I know why people find it bullshit, and I kind of agree. Like, we shouldn't have to do basic upgrading at level 100. Maiden of anguish. That is the lesser evil he means to summon. Heavens help us. Um... So you, you feel like it's okay? You you like this? Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just a little confusing to begin with. As to why they changed it that way. Even I don't fully understand it. Like, it was fine before. <laughs> like, you would expect it to be the other way around if it does less. You would expect the greater things to show up later. Yeah. Ooh, lots of stuff. Like I said, unless the um, upgrades now do like 90 or 100 points a piece. And I can understand it. Like it's one last thing to go, hey, yeah, here you go. Okay. I'm not for certain how much they do because we haven't reached that yet. But. Any homework on this? It could be worth it. Yeah. Like I said, if the upgrade is actually worth it. Yeah. If it's not, then I don't understand why they didn't do it the other way. And just put the other piece on the end. Yeah. And like at 60 or 70. Instead of being what you start with. Yes, you have to get a little piece of paper to get the upgrades. Because apparently there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, and you have to find each one for each set of pieces. I mean, granted, there's a lot of mechanics in this game that I don't understand. Like, the jeweler and the blacksmith are from the old stuff, and so that makes sense to me. But, like, the occult thing, or the, like, enchanting mechanics. Like, the curiosity thing is not that hard to understand. It's literally just gambling for pieces. But in terms of, like, the occult thing, I still don't understand it. I do not care for it. Mm. So, I think tempering is just gonna take some getting used to, but I... If it ain't broke, why try to fix it, honestly? <laughs> uh, nope. Like I said, I can understand better. Upon how much of an upgrade it is at the end. Well, I got these. Yeah, dread kickers. Oh, and uh, another thing you're going to find out fairly soon here. Probably when I next get on to do an episode. Uh, yes, we're definitely switching. <laughs> yeah, some foreshadowing for you all. We are switching his character because he hates the wizard. Not hates, just... Uh, 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 it's not fun. It's too hard. No, the, the fact that they are a pure damage dealer and have really no way to... Um, really... I need time to do that probably be able to defend themselves at all. Unless they're like ice or something of that sort, which takes away from the fact that I wanted to do a pure fire build. I need more time. Pure fire build does not lend itself to anything besides damage. Which I understand at least so to some degree. But you would swear that there is a way to um, You want to scooch in a little closer? Hey. Went too far out. Maybe a little bit. Hey. Okay. Probably better. <laughs> What's wrong with doing a pure fire build again? Yeah. It seems like it's no defense. Yeah, it's pure. Ouch. Pure damage. You are which, DPS. Which wouldn't be a bad thing if. You had something to help it. Because it is a build that you will be a glass cannon, period. I don't care what you do. 
Yeah, there's an ability called Glass Cannon. There's almost no way to do anything else, because you have almost no defense. There's a passive called Glass Cannon that helps increase your damage, ouchie. Yes, you can be very ouchie. Problem is, is that with being very ouchie, you are very squishy. Well, that's the whole joke about with wizards. You die of 1d4, you suck damage. <laughs> you die of 1d4 sneeze damage. 1d4, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I die. Oh, that's... 1d4, 1d4 damage, because it's a fucking caltrop. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, you are you are designed to be squishy, but like in this game, I guess it's extra squishy. Mm-hmm. You will not last long being just pure fire. No. Okay, seriously, like I know there's no way to find this out, but like, where's the goddamn exit? Ugh, there's one more unexplored area. Okay. By the way, I did turn the contrast up. Uh, Dad did that as well because there's now an apparently a additional highlights option in order to draw the contrast out. I wanted to make it easier for you guys to see rather than for me to play in the same old dingy D4 experience. So that's the only reason that this may look a little different. It's for you guys. And who knows, maybe I'll like it, but we're about to enter Elias' throne room, which means probably a boss fight is incoming, but there's no little health pool, so maybe it's just a cutscene. Nope, it's a boss fight! Just don't get any help. No! Which for the rug would not be a big deal. The rogue pretty much always sits just at full at this point. You will ouch. Okay, it's Mother's Judgment time. I think the closest I come to. Um, Father, this is stupid. This is. Yeah. This is really stupid. I'm chewing through her for no reason. No better reason than. Here you go. I, I nibbled her. Now she hurts. Okay. And more nibbles. And she did. A barrier has been dispelled. Good to know. Recent collection of partially eaten corpses. Scraps of fine clothing suggest these may be the remains of the royal family. Oh, we love that! Mmm. Uh, yeah, no, that's kind of gross. Okay. So, hmm. I'm going to just explore the room a little bit, because this does say Elias' throne room. You know, and there's probably, like, lore bits sitting around. Or not, you know, I could always be wrong. There could be absolutely fucking nothing in this room besides the bloodied corpses of the royal family. Alright, before we move forward, I think we're going to look at all this stuff, because it's neat. What the fuck is that? It's trash! <laughs> but there is a thing next to it. Yeah, that's that's useful, maybe. I don't know. You'll yeah, find out. All I know is... I think it's time for a new episode. Including the pause. So, yeah. Subscribe if you guys want to. But we don't really care if you do. But if you do, you get to see more content like this. And don't forget to ding down the bell, you ding nose. Have a horribly wonderful day. We okay. mm, stretchy. <laughs>